All right, guys, so here's a little something I have planted here that I feed to my reptiles. It's a spineless cactus. And you can see I just grabbed a piece that somebody had torn out of their garden and planted it back here between my pheasants. And even they eat it, as you can see there. So if you guys have one of these, I'll show you what the reptiles that are omnivores or herbivores like. I'll go ahead and um, show you how they eat it. And here I just wanted to show you guys, I, I, I went ahead and I planted a, I didn't even plant, I just threw these pieces of cactus there. And you can see I got some babies coming up. So I have a friend that has a, a giant salcota. Um, that thing weighs probably like 100 pounds. So I gave him a little piece and hopefully, you know, I mean, he, he orders them from Amazon, I believe. But uh, hopefully he could grow his own plant. And I mean, this has been here less than like three months. As soon as the rainy se season kicked off, it sprouted up. So I'll go inside now and show you guys some of my animals eating it. These guys are just babies and they love this. So if you could plant one of these little cactuses, they don't have any thorns. And this is a small stem, so it's kind of soft, but they love it. If you can see that seed there, that's a um, hog plum or what we call ciruela in Spanish. And these guys also, there's a ripe knee and I, I go for walks around the neighborhood and I pick them up off the floor and you can see how they leave them. They tear them down to the seed. So if you got any iguanas or any vegetarian type uh, animals, um, jocote or ciruela, these uh, spineless cactus, uh, they love it. Or at least this big guy loves it. The little one is scared. I got to get these guys out of this enclosure. Um, they need a lot bigger area to roam around. And um, I'm going to cut it now short. I'm going to see if I could feed some of my other animals, see if they like it. I know my birds love it, so uh, good luck to you guys if you plan on planting these. I'll show you what the tree looks like again. And, uh, you know, it helps to have something in handy. So if you got to feed these guys, you have something else to feed them. All right, guys. Here's what was left of that cactus. I fed it to the bigger iguana I have. And she just ate the whole thing. Barely gave me enough time to pull out the... Uh, the camera to record she has no fear of me so I had to go ahead and drop it and quickly pull out the camera and record so yeah that cactus is a good uh, good natural replacement and these guys are omnivores so if it didn't taste good she'd probably settle for some protein a mouse or something else See if she picks up the last piece. If she does, it means it was good. Yep. Gone. Alright guys, so this is my bigger uh, spiny tail iguana, big mama. And she just downed the rest of the leaf that I had in my hand. 